Hey guys, so I'm going to show you how to make a waffle out of polymer clay and also the mold for it. So this is the waffle that I made and then here is the mold. So I'm going to show you how to make both of these. So here's the supply. So first we're going to do the waffle mold. So it's right here and you can feel really colorful on the sides too. So you're going to need to get some scrap clay and yeah, I just have a whole bag. <laughs> Yeah, I had to run all the way downstairs to uh, get this cookie cutter because I forgot about it. So, yeah, a circle cookie cutter. Put everything there. And then, you're, um, you you can usually use a ruler, but um don't um, really know where my ruler is. I have like three of them, but I really don't know where they are. So, I'm just going to use this Sculpey Purple Blade. And also, a little help from my regular exact one I played and yeah so let's get started with the mold and oh yeah one more thing you need a rolling pin and I'm using my acrylic one so to make it pretty even though it's not supposed to be I'm gonna take a little bit of each color so I'm gonna take a little bit it does you don't even have to have a real color scheme but I'm gonna just show you some of the colors so I'm gonna get a little bit of purple some pink this has like bits of colors on it too so it's not that nice and whatever that color, yeah, blue. <laughs> and then, I'm not sure, okay, yeah, and then some black. You don't need a lot of this because it really takes over all your colors, so. So, I'm trying to get more of it. <clears throat> okay. So, now we're just going to, like, conjoin these together. And usually scrap clay is not that soft because it's scraps and you haven't used it in a while and everything. Well, I don't know. It's just usually not good because they're separate pieces, if you know what I mean. And then you have to conjoin them together. So, I'm just going to roll this into a nice bowl and then I'll get back to you. So, this is the bowl that I made. Now, we're going to roll it out. Fix the camera a little bit. Okay. So, I'm going to roll this out off camera. So it doesn't have to be that thick or thin. I'm just going to make it this thick. Now, this is a perfect circle. It doesn't really matter. But um, just because I want to, I'm going to do a cookie cutter in it instead of having the regular, like, messy circle that I made. So, so just like that. And if you have any, like, uneven ends, it's fine. It's, like, just a tool that you can use. So... So and just pop this out. Okay, so even the sides look really cool. Even the sides. So, yeah, now I'm going to show you how to make the pattern. So first we're going to start, so it's a regular circle now, okay. Then we're going to start by doing the bottom of the circle. And just make lines that go dia um, horizontal. Sorry, I'm focusing on this. Um, and, and they should be... Not, like, it depends on, like, um, the size of what you're going to make. And this is pretty much, like, if you know what I mean. This is pretty much the size that I'm going to do. And last time, I didn't know that I didn't, um, need my blade, so I don't really need it, actually. If you want to cut something, then you need it, though. And so I'm just going to do it right, um, so you see the lines that, and just put them straight. Then we're going to start by, um, going to this side of the lines. And just making, like, lines again. So it just makes the waffle look. And yeah, it's kind of um, quieter than normal because I'm upstairs in my room. And also, um, I have a bird, so you might hear her. I'm not sure if the camera picks up that really good sound like that. But there is a bird in the background, so if you hear it, then you hear it. <laughs> because there's the bird. And she's really loud. So this is the waffle mold. And before you use it with your clay, um, you have to bake it. Then when you use it with your clay, you have to put some cornstarch or flour or any sort of thing like that. I don't know what else you can use, but you can use any of that. And um, then you just peel it off and it's your waffle. So now I'm going to show you how to make the waffle. So you need a waffle mold. This one's already baked and this one isn't. Then you need um, a paintbrush, um, whatever kind of brush on uh pastelling brush and then you need um yellow and brown pastels and these are the only pastels i have because i lost my other pack and then and then um i just took two out that i really need because i knew they were just all gonna get lost so i just put these two in my clay box and you need really um light tan clay then a little bit of um yellow clay and then you need a rolling pin so i think that's pretty much it and if you're starting with a block of clay you obviously need the blade to cut the pieces off so yeah 
BTW, BTW, <laughs> um, that's by the way, if you know all that kind of texty stuff, and so, this is the waffle that I made already, and I'm going to show you how to make it. So start off by conditioning your light tan clay, because you don't want any specks or anything, and you should wash your hands before each color, which I don't do, so I am guilty that I don't do that. Now roll this into a ball like we always do. Then we can, um, this isn't what, um, we're going to use our rolling pin really for, but you can. Sorry, it's kind of slanted. that I have to do over here. So, um, just push down from the bottom of your rolling pin, or you can just roll it out. But it's easier for me to do on the bottom. Then it's like this circle shape. Then, um, when you're doing, when you're pressing this, um, onto your waffle mold, you need some cornstarch, what, like I said, in flour or something. But I'm not going to use that. I don't really don't have any of that. So I'm going to take this. Sorry, it has to be the corner of the screen. It's just my Blackberry is in the way, so I can't stand anything straight, if you know what I mean. So just push it on there and then take it off. Actually, this one came out kind of cool. It's a little bit s smashed up, though. So this is where, um, if you want, your blade can come in. But I don't know if you're going to have the same situation like I just did. So I'm just going to cut off the excess because it looks kind of weird. <laughs> Circle. And yeah, and now we're gonna do the pastels. So I never showed me doing any pastels on my channel yet, like shading them or anything. <laughs> like, you actually want to say that, but just kidding. Um, so I'm just gonna put some pastels. So I'm just gonna take the yellow and I do it with my blade that I use for clay. I'm really guilty. I don't know why I do it, but I do. Oh, yeah, I know why because I really don't have two separate braids. Uh, bleh. Braids, really? Really, Jackie? Braids blades for it so you can mix this orange into here and make it a little bit easier for you but um i'm not going to make it easier for me for myself so i'm just going to do two separate piles of it yeah so now i'm just going to take some of the yellow i take the lightest color first because i don't know that's just what you're supposed to do i guess and i'm just gonna put this on and so i know it looks really yellow on camera but camera doesn't do the color much justice, really. Because in real life, it doesn't look like this. So, I hope you could see. It doesn't really look that tan in the middles. The middles. In the little squares, but... I'm just going to do that so you guys can see. Then I'm going to take some of the, um, orange. Sorry if that hurt your ears. I might have caught it, like, really loud. Okay, so I'm just going to brush this off. So now we're just going to condition our little um, bowl of um, yellow clay because it might have got dirty on the way, like doing the pastel and stuff. Oops, a piece fell over. So then we're just going to um, put it down again, so I have to put it over here. Turn it down. Now, if you could see, um, where's my blade? Okay, found it. So now I'm just going to cut a square off of this. I'm going to try to, actually. So. So this is a piece of butter, and it's hard sticking bear clay onto pastels because it's like, I don't know, it's just really hard to do, um, so it just like slides off, that's why. So I'm just going to push that on, that was kind of easy though. And uh, yeah, so that's how you um, make a waffle and a waffle mold, that's why it took so long, sorry it was so long, um, but yeah, rate, comment, and subscribe, I hope you guys like that video, and yeah, bye guys.